Welcome back everyone to Mortsuki Hime. Let's carry on. After about 10 minutes of walking, the labyrinth of trees comes to an abrupt end. Hirobada. In the middle of the forest is an unnaturally open field. What could this place be? At the very least, I have no memory of it. If I hadn't tailed Hisui, I would have never known about this tiny patch of land buried deep in the forest. I have no recollection of playing in this cling with Akia, at least. I don't think I do. I contemplate for a second before stepping into the clearing. There's not much out here. Hisui, who had been ahead of me this whole time, is nowhere to be seen. The sun beats down harder in the center of the clearing. Even looking down, its glaring white rays overtake my vision. I wonder if it's because I've been in the shade for so long. It feels like the middle of summer. Glancing upward, I find huge fluffy clouds high in the sky. The air shimmers with heat. And the king of cicadas eats at me. The cries of the cicadas. Oh. My consciousness sizzles. My knees buckle, thudding onto scalding sand and soil. I know this place. I may have forgotten, but I know it. The summer sun batters my forehead. The screams of cicadas echo in my ears. The smell of assaults my nostrils. At my feet lies a crumpled mass, dark and red, that was alive just moments ago. <laughs> I bet you that blank space is blood. The wound on my chest flares, like a knife. Splitting skin and flesh, this pain punctures through my chest. The cicadas screech. They wail for it to stop, stop, stop. They cry for the dead, dead, dead. I hear more screeching of cicadas. Even though it's already autumn. Looking up, I feel the summer sun pierce my, my eyes. The tepid air makes me feel sick. I'm besieged by the sights and sounds of empty shells. The husk of a cicada lies at my feet. A husk that was once human. The wound splits open. A deluge of red spills out of the chest coating my hands in a glistening crimson. I glimpse the silhouette of a figure slumped over, followed by the sound of a young girl's footsteps rushing towards it. Towering clouds sail high above in the distance, beneath the blue sky, creatures have cast off the shell of this mortal coil. By the time I realize what's happening, I see Akiha, bloodied and crying. I'm in hell. The shrill of cicadas threatens to pierce my eardrums like a needle. What is this? My chest stings. I think I'm going to be sick. My wound should have closed a long time ago. Why does it hurt so bad now? It feels busted, unimpeded. A red fluid begins to flow. What's happening? My wound hasn't healed at all. It hurts. I'm scared. This is the impulse of death. My consciousness plummets. 
Pus blooms where my womb tears open. My mind regresses, smothered by illusions of summer. It feels like my soul is escaping. I hear the soft thud of my body hitting the grass. I can hear people talking. Akiha-sama, Ah, so they brought me back. Akiha and Hisui are speaking. This is Shiki's room. I'm sleeping on the bed. My senses are finally back. I try to push myself up and break the tension with a greeting, but my body won't listen to my brain's commands. Though the pain in my chest is gone, my entire body feels like lead. Looks like my mouth and eyes are the only things I've got control over. あなたも知っているでしょうに。申し訳ありません。謝って済む問題じゃないわ。あなたお兄さん付きの使用人にしたのはこういう事態を避けるためでしょ。それを忘れてあなたは何をやっていたっていうのよ。Akia is seating mad. This might be the most emotion I've ever seen from her. Hisui, head bowed, simply receives her scolding. I don't know what led to all this. All I can tell is that Hisui is getting yelled at because of me. ほら、口にしてもらえないかしら、ヒスイ。あなたは今日一日どこで何をしていたのかを。この人が朝に倒れたことも報告せず、天津さえあの森に行かせてしまった。これは明確な意図があってのことよね。そうでなければ。犬以下の頭だもの。答えなさい、翡翠。あなたも私に逆らうつもりなの。Hisui maintains her silence. The air in the room grows heavier with every breath. Akia bites her lip and takes a step forward. It's obvious to me that she's going to strike her. Hisui continues to look down at the floor, ready to accept her punishment. ちょっと待て。アキハ。兄さん。気がついたんですか。ああ。アキハがあんまりにうるさいんで、今目が覚めた。あ。アキハ looks away visibly uncomfortable. His feet meanwhile has her eyes to the floor and won't even look in my direction. あのさ、あんまり翡翠に当たるなよ。事情は知らないけど、俺が倒れたことで揉めてるんだろう。なら、翡翠に責任はない。こんなの、俺が勝手に倒れただけなんだから。Urging strength into my arms, I lift myself up into the sitting position. That simple motion takes all the energy I have. At this point, I don't think I could lift a finger. But for Hisui's sake, I need to pretend like I'm okay. まったく。お前も俺のことなんかで喧嘩するな。大人びたように見えてまだ子供なんだな。でも兄さんはあれからずっと気を失っていたんですよ。10時間以上も昆睡しているなんて今までなかったはずです。もし兄さんがあのまま
ずっと気を失っていたんです。アキエス・トネス・レゼーブ。But it's not my health I'm worried about. It's my promise to Ark Wade. Ten o'clock, and don't you dare be late. She looked like she really meant that last part. I can only imagine what she'll put me through if I'm late again. やばい、行かなくっちゃ。アキア、ごめん、俺は出かけるから、後のことはよろしく頼む。あんまり翡翠をいじめるなよ。そ、そちらこそ、バカなことは言わないでください。私、兄さんが舞をどこに行くかなんてもう聞きません聞きませんからどうか今夜ぐらいはご自分の体を大事にしてあげてくださいシキーズ・ライデスのモスタイフシーンハーモスエモーショナルタスパーアキハシジェニュメリー・プリーディングウィッミーシンガー・ディス・ウォーリー I can feel my determination start to waver. Demo, Kondano, a shot you and other. Chugak no coronante, Hini Nikaiwa Taurete and the star. Takara, you can't be seen by Nantes. Nisa, Onegai Dakara, Kyogra, what does she know you could talk? Keep the sign. Aki appears into me, anxiously awaiting my response. Ah,、oh, no, this is tough. This is so tough. Ah,、uh... I mean, on one hand, it's probably not a good idea to go meet Ark Wade in my condition anyway, that might lead to a bad end. On the other hand, breaking our promise might also leave. You know, either choice won't, won't be that great in Shiki's position at the moment. So, you know what? I'm going to listen to Akiha. I guess I got no choice. If I keep going against her wishes, I feel like I'll just make her cry. I got it. I'm going to sleep with you today. Man, I wish Arkway had a cell phone. I lie back down. Honto Atoninate Hea Nukeda Stari Suruno Monashi Desio. She nine yo. Jitsu Yuto Karadaga Mada Omoinda Akiha no meo no sunde soto ni derunante Totemo de Kisoni nai. Akia lowers her shoulders, obviously relieved. Hisui, go hack me, Nisan got me, some much to go to Stein eat. Nisan, you shook a doshimaska. Soka, yeah, go hack son, you are a wicked, Tabera is only night. Konya, a conoma, and would I set a gray? Bakari Masta. Hisui. ご白にそう伝えてきて。Well then, now that I'm lying down, my fatigue sets in again, lulling me towards a deep slumber. I probably got a minute at best before I fall back asleep. But before I do, アキハ、うちの庭にあんな場所はあったっけ？え、私たちが子供の頃。よく遊んだ場所ですそっかなんだかよく覚えてないな Yeah, I totally forgot it, in fact それともう一つ変なことを聞くんだけどその子供の頃さ俺とアキハともう一人ぐらい子供がいたとかいう話は知らないかはアキア tilts her head in confusion. That's a reasonable response. Of course, there wasn't anyone else. But if there wasn't, then something doesn't add up. What I saw in my dream, and the dream I had in the clearing, 
If they're the same, there has to have been another child. A child who was killed otherwise. No, 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 no. It's just a dream. Yes, that's it. So, please, stay safe, Mia. Mia, stay safe for a long time. Yes, that's it. My consciousness is cut off the moment I respond. The tightening I feel in my chest each time I go to sleep isn't there tonight. It's like a switch has been flipped in my mind. As if to escape from all that's happened today, Shikitono sinks deep into the dark abyss. Did someone leave the window open? I can hear birds chirping outside. A cool breeze brushes my cheek. Faint sunlight filters through the, my eyelids. I'm wrapped in a scene of warm, gentle hues. Greeted by a peaceful morning. I grab my glasses from the pillow without another thought. That's right. I must have fallen asleep after talking to Akiha. My joints are pretty dull. But I still feel better than I did last night. Yes. I muttered to mentally prepare myself. It's time to wake up and face the morning. <laughs> what a sight to wake up to. <laughs> Except, when I open my eyes, I find myself facing Arkway instead. I stare silently at her face. Every last thought has been banished from my mind. My brain's gone so blank it might as well be tofu. At this point, I've even forgotten how to breathe. Seriously, what is even happening here? All I know is that Arcway is right in front of me. In my bedroom. At barely 9 in the morning. On my bed. Still wearing her boots. Her foul mood has dimmed the luster of her red eyes. Except it really hasn't. At this proximity, I can appreciate every last detail. Her eyes are stunning. Arquaid stares at me with unblinking disapproval. She's really close to me right now. Close enough for me to notice the smoothness of her skin, to feel her breath and warmth against me. The weight of her body pins me into the sheets. Martial artists call it a mount. Even though I want to yell at her, I try my best to keep my voice to a whisper. It'd all be over for me if Hisui heard the and came rushing in. I don't know what's all going on, but I'm smart enough to know how bad that'd be. とにかくどいてくれ。人の部屋に勝手に上がって眠ってる隙に馬乗りとか人権無視にも程がある。隠蔽だかお前は。何よその態度。私がこんなところにやってきたのは指揮が約束を破ったからでしょ。Arkway pouting glares at me indignantly. That's... That's right. I promised I'd meet her last night, and I broke that promise. The birds continue to trip outside. Finally, the pieces start coming together. I understand why Arkway is angry. But it isn't an excuse for all this. 
You don't invade someone's room while they're asleep, especially when you can just rip into them later. The window was closed when I went to bed, but it's open now, so she must have come in through there. Also, aren't vampires supposed to be invited before they can come in anywhere? Arcoid sets me straight. それにね、本当は私、もっと怒ってたんだから。何時間も待ちぼうけで約束を保護にされたんだって気づいた時、自分でも驚くぐらい頭に血が上ったわ。もう絶対にこのままじゃ済まさない。乗り込んでいって捕
Arcway gives me a satisfied nod. At last, she gets off of me in the bed. I grumble as I sit up straight. Arcway watches me crawl out of bed from a few steps away. あの Arcway replies like it's the most obvious thing in the world. But if we're hanging out all day, doesn't that mean she's asking me to skip school too? Listen, I'd skip school any day of the week, I don't care. I would not. She really knows how to hit me where it hurts. I take a quick glance at the clock. It's just past nine. If I were to head to school now, I'd be late anyway. Besides, I do owe it to her for making her stand around all night. And when it comes down to it, spending time with her does sound a lot more fun. お、そこは気にしなくていいよ。だって、街を散歩するだけなら昼間でも関係ないんだし。うん。なんだよ。昨日の夜できなかった分、これから休憩付き探しをするんじゃないのか。ええ、もちろん夜になったら調べるわ。けど一日ずっと手伝ってもらうのも大変でしょうから、お昼ぐらいは休んでもいいと思うの。もっともな意見だけど、二人で街を歩くだけって、それって。A date. It'll look like a date. Sure, we walked around at night, but this would be different. We 100% look like a couple. These things probably don't even occur to Arcoid, her being a vampire and all. She probably just wants me to take her somewhere fun, but come on. Can I even handle time with her without any vampire hunting to keep us busy? <laughs> I scramble to cover my face in my hands and avert my gaze from Arcwade. <laughs> it's not like we haven't already had plenty of time alone. But so far, it's been some life or death situation, fighting for survival. Thinking about anything else would have meant certain death. I've been trying to ignore her beauty in order to focus on the task at hand. But what if? But what if we just spent the day together like normal people, without a clear objective in mind or any impending doom to distract us? No doubt, I'd start to notice things I could do without. Shiki? Ne, yappari kakko ni iku no? わけないだろう。うんと言ったんだから付き合うよ。約束は破らないって言っただろ。どんな気まぐれか知らないけど、街を散歩するぐらいなら問題ないだろうし。ありがとう、好き。それじゃあ早速行きましょう。Her smile is dazzlingly bright. What she have to thank me for? Arcoid practically skips over to the window she presumably entered from. ちょっと待った。すぐに着替えるから、そこで外でも見ててくれ。何呼んだなあ、呼んだけど呼んでない。止めて悪かった。外に出ていてくれ。すぐに追いつくから。うん、屋敷の正門で待ってるわ。今ま
これ以上待たせないでね四季アクエイツ thinks out of the window as leith and agile as a cat I watch her she bounce between the trees There she goes from branch to branch never touching the ground even once Before I know it she's gone from my sight Seeing her now it's no wonder that she managed to slip inside of my room unnoticed 感心してる場合じゃないか俺も翡翠に見つからないよう外に出ないと I quickly change into some casual attire It's a school day so putting on my uniform would only draw unwanted attention Opening my door just a crack I peek to make sure nobody's coming down the hall I don't want to risk passing through the lobby, so instead I climb out of the window of an empty room on the first floor. Finally, I make it to the gate. I had to take a bit of a detour through the garden to avoid detection, so it took a little while longer than I would have liked. Of course, Arkway is here already. Omatase. Toriyazu, Ido Shio, Arkwedo. 屋敷の周りにいると琥珀さんに見つかっちまうえあ,あうん行くなら早く行こっか Her response is surprisingly flat compared to how bouncing and energetic she was earlier なんだよらしくないな俺を待ってる間にまた何かあったのかうん別に何もなかったけど In spite of my tone, her head still seems to be up in the clouds. もしかして昼間だから体調が悪いのか無理をしてまで出歩く必要はないんだ。苦しいのならやめにしても。体調は良好なんだけどね。ちょっとこの塀を見ていたら、昨日のことを思い出しちゃって。昨日のことって、公園で俺をずっと待ってたこと Arkway nods meekly. Kino no Yoruba, Koko, Zendok de Tobicote, Sonoma Maskino Hianis, Nobicondan Dakedo. Imanis de Moto, Sigida Nate. Yes, it is. Do ste what she, Anotoki, Anna New Cotta Tandaro. Yak Soko no Hitotsura, Imama de Nanda Mohatasena Cottononi. Little hurtful. Arkway folds her hands together, she ponders the mystery. Ah, so da. シキならわかるかないつも私をバカバカって言い伏せるんだからこれぐらいわかるでしょあのなバークウェイ doesn't know then there's no way I would but if I were to wager a guess it's because she's selfish it's because she wants revenge it's because she's a vampire what if it's none of the three Have the nerve to make me pick. I, I'm, I mean, all three are pretty on point, but it's I'm of the mind of one or two. I might go with two, and then she's gonna say I'm wrong. So then, ah. 俺に復讐したいからじゃないか復讐私が四季に俺は一度アルクエドを殺しているだろうブローブの件で許してはもらったけどあれはあくまで元に戻せない代わりの補填というか借金は返せたけど借りていた時にかけた迷惑は残っているというかん差し引きがあっているならいいんじゃないの ?In what way are we even miss?I wouldn't say we're even at all.We can't expect the slate to be wiped clean just from me being her bodyguard for a day.When I asked her not to lay a hand on humans, she did me one better by ensuring no harm came to the city.If you ask me, paying my debt a thousand times over still wouldn't be enough. えーと、そうだな。感情的な話なんだ。きっと
殺された時のことを思い出すとムカつくだろうやっぱり許せないいつかやり返してやるってうんやり返したい気持ちはないでもないけどだって四季一度も待ち合わせ時間を守ってくれないしそういうところ今もどうかと思ってるし Hey, I've only been late twice. Also, did you just admit you'd like to get even with me one day? It's kind of horrifying. I better make sure I arrive on time from now on. Ma, ma, so you then take a arcara, oh, my wa, oh, tanda roshi. Oreo nikurashku, oh, motanja naika. Nikurashku. Tashkani, so kamo. Watashi, Dareka to Kona ni hanashta koto nakata kara. Arquid hangs her head as she contemplates the situation in complete silence. So, Shiki wa watashi no koto hirai na no kana? Wait, huh? Arquid's sneak attack nearly brings my brain to a stop, but then I remember we're still at the front gate of the estate. It's a bright and sunny day, and I'm fully accustomed to her ambushes after this morning's wake up call. With that grounding me, I say. Seems I managed to get through to her with that. At her core, Arquay prizes rationality and efficiency. It just shows how much yesterday must have pissed her off. She's still riled up to such a degree that she'd let a silly question like that bother her. All right, fine. As long as it doesn't wind up endangering my life, I'll entertain whatever whim she's got today. Gimon wa hyokai shimashita ka? Nara, sasa to idou shiou. Even if we haven't decided on a destination yet, we should at least get away from the Tono estate. This hill overlooking the city contains nothing but the mansion and some woods. Neither of which is the kind of playground Arcway is probably looking for. For now, we'll just head for the station in the middle of town. Arcade skips down the slope ahead of me. She's like a kid excited to go on her first errand. Right, in her mind, my school uniform and I practically come as a pair. Though I'd argue our uniform is really more of a dark navy. I really wish she'd stop taking every chance to paint me as some kind of emo kid. To be fair, I mostly just swapped out my sneakers for some leather shoes, but at least it's something. Arque pauses, as if she just thought of something. She says it so casually that I don't even think twice about following her orders. I spin around and close my eyes. The moment I do, my thoughts catch up and I start wondering what the hell I'm doing. Outdone in what? Suddenly, I feel a strange gust of wind swirl around behind my back. Oi, 
as she changed. My thoughts and words come to an abrupt halt. I gape in stunned silence. Holy shit. This can't be real. What the hell is this new look of hers? Is that fur? And a bow? How did she change in the blink of an eye? No, where did she even get this from? None of that matters. She looks good. Devastatingly good. But there's still a conservative look to it. Like it doesn't go overboard. <laughs> what are you saying, you... I... Uh... How do I even respond to that? Is it cute? She asks. Like she hasn't just transcended all known dimensions of cuteness. This is beyond comprehension. Beyond human intellect, even. Don't tell me all vampires come with perfect date outfits. She was already so cute I could die, and she still outdoes herself. What is she, a fashion model? God, she's like the fluffiest, fluffiest rabbit given form. I just want to take a picture and treasure it forever. Are you just using every cheat code imaginable, you monster? Oh, if only you could read his mind. It's bad. Really, really bad, in fact. For my mental stability, that is. I should deny it on behalf of all humankind so she can no longer wreak havoc on us. But I wonder if there's anyone on this earth who could deny Arkway when she's looking this fine. <laughs> I grit my teeth. I've got to fight every urge to raise my white flag and surrender. Pulling together every last shred of dignity in me, I utter a response. Ah, oh, come on, Shiki, you can do better than that. Though I struggled, I managed to preserve humanity's dignity. Smooth. Her earlier play might have broken through my defenses and done some damage, but I regained the high ground. There's no reason for me to panic any further. Right now, I've got to pull myself together and rein her in like usual. Yes. Arcade. Wherever I'd like, huh? She's clearly the kind of person who says that anything is fine when you ask them what they want for dinner. It sounds simple enough, but in truth, having this much freedom only ups the difficulty. I have no clue what kind of place Arkwe would like to visit. But I'm gonna have to think of something before we get to the station. At least I've got enough in my wallet to cover whatever we do. Where should we go? It's a little cliche, but maybe a movie theater. A gloomy back alley sounds good. I think we should just go for a walk in the park at this point. I mean, we could see a movie, but I'm pretty sure... She would want the stroll. I mean, I don't think she'd mind a movie either. Ah, uh, okay. We'll save new file again. I'm going for a nice show in the park. The weather's nice today, so I might as well take her to the park. We could stroll around till we're feeling nice and relaxed, and then hang around the station afterwards. So we enter the park. It's a weekday morning, but there's still plenty of people out and about. Office workers in their suits, mothers with their children, and a few couples just a bit older than me. Despite her disinterested inflection, there's a spark of excitement in her eyes. It seems the park was the right call. Arcade points towards the shop, her face full of wonder. 
There are many an ice cream truck on the other side of the fountain. What are you talking about, Chiki? Ice cream is great. See, even our queens chose it. I nip for demands in the bud before they have a chance to sprout. Eating some ice cream under the autumn sky honestly doesn't sound too bad, but we have a long day ahead of us. I prefer to avoid shocking my digestive system. That said, there's this weird feeling I can't shake. As we wander around, I can't seem to settle down. ね、the situation's finally become clear. I was looking for a nice place to sit, a spot with some shade, a good view, and not too many people around, but we kept drawing glances. Needless to say, it's not me they're looking at, it's Arquaid. That totally slipped my mind. After all, Arquaid is my vampire hunting partner and, well, a vampire herself. That's why I've been trying not to pay too much attention to her looks, but there's no hiding the fact that she's drop dead gorgeous. Of course she'll draw attention walking around in, in a public park. And all the men giving her lingering looks are the most definitely waiting for a chance to make their move. Arcredo, I take her hand into mine and pull her in close, as if to shield her from their prying looks. The quicker we get to the other end of the park, the better. <laughs> 